It's one of Asia's longest running guerrilla conflicts, and a new generation of fighters is storming in. With rifles and laptops, these communist rebels are fighting to bring down the Philippines' capitalist system. This young graduate gave up dreams of becoming a TV journalist to wear the Maui's cap. We are facing an enemy who has committed atrocities against the people, against the youth and other sectors in society. We should stand up to them and not cower in fear. The Philippines has one of Asia's fastest growing economies, but about a fifth of the population live below the poverty line. The communists continue to attract supporters with promises of justice and ending the rich-poor divide. Catherine joined the rebellion when her father was fired for setting up a trades union. I felt very happy talking to the community and getting to know their situation, discovering how different our lives are and how they are being abused, and in the process of teaching them their rights, they come to understand that it's necessary to fight. This is one of the most wanted men in the Philippines. Commander Jaime Padilla joined shortly after the rebellion began in the farming region of Tarlac, a couple of hours' drive north of Manila in 1969. Peace talks with the government stalled recently, triggering a fresh round of killings on both sides. And at 70, Padilla is as angry as ever. We are used to 50 years of fighting. And what does it matter if they come at us for another 50 years? The youth will continue the rebellion. Even if it takes a hundred years, as long as the youth is here, farmers and the citizens are ready to revolt. The insurgency has so far claimed 30,000 lives, and there's no end in sight, as these new recruits gear up for another generation of violence.